Hey, what's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker. We've made four films and we're currently working on our fifth film, Rhino King. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about why being an actor in 2024 is just not enough. A little bit of backstory. I've been acting since 2006. After I graduated, I went straight to LA, uh, did that whole circus, uh, not circus, sorry, did that whole circuit for about 10 years and did everything from national commercials to industrials to big print campaigns to feature films. Uh, I, I, I did a lot of work within that time period. Um, in 2024, the timeline and the things that we have access to are very different, right? In-person auditions are now self-tapes. Everything can be done from where you live, you no longer have to be in the hubs of LA, uh, New York, or Atlanta. You can be in Missouri or Kansas or Washington. And if you want to be an actor, you can go and create your own projects. The reason why it's not enough anymore in 2024 is growing up, movies were an event, right? So when you saw a movie, you saw a program, a TV show, the whole family would come around and watch it. It would be an event. Then, or they would go to the movie theater. Then that would come out on DVD or VHS and you would rent it for three days. You had the movie for three days, right? You don't want to get late fees. And you would watch it a few times before you had to return it. It was special. Movies and, and film, all of that stuff was special. It felt special and it just, it was. Now... Films are pieces of content. You as an actor are looking to get a place in a film that no longer generates the income that it did in the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s. That's why the mid-budget tiered films are gone outside of horror. The mid-budget tiered films are gone because now those filmmakers and those studios no longer have VHS rentals or DVD sales to fall back on to make up their funds. And as we all know, making movies is very expensive. Even on the indie, low budget, no budget scale, it still becomes very expensive to make these projects. So being just an actor today is no longer enough. The, the, the projects that you're auditioning for and competing with other actors, that movie is competing with the Instagrammers, the TikTokers, the YouTube shorts, the, the YouTubers. Like it's Video games, it's competing with so many different mediums in this world for the user's attention or the customer's attention that you as the actor, you have to elevate yourself to give yourself the most opportune t um, um, opportune opportunity. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You have to elevate yourself to give yourself the highest chance of success and give yourself opportunities that you would know that you wouldn't have by just being an actor waiting for your agent to say hey you have this casting submit this audition tape we live in a time and space now where it's never been easier to make a film and to make a good film subjective but it's still very challenging so my advice to all the actors out there is simple and it's this go and create the roles in the stories that you want to see yourself play, that you wish that audition would come across your email and you could submit yourself for it. Go and write that story. Go and build your team. Go and create that movie and go and create and act your ass off in that role. My name is Jason Park. I look forward to talking to you soon.